Immerdale viewers were moved to tears on Monday night after watching actor Mark Charnock's realistic portrayal of his character Marlon Dingle suffering a terrifying stroke. The 53-year-old actor, who plays the Woolpack chef on the ITV soap, was seen being taken off by paramedics after experiencing the life-threatening medical condition, with the long-lasting repercussions possibly changing his life forever. Marlon was seen searching for an engagement ring at his home as he prepared to propose to Rona Goskirk, Zoe Henry. But, feeling unwell, he looked in the mirror and saw his face beginning to drop, leaving him terrified. He soon collapsed and was found by his daughter April Windsor, Amelia Flanagan, who came searching for him and called an ambulance after realizing what had happened. Moved by the harrowing scenes, many viewers took to Twitter to praise Mark for his acting. One person wrote, Blooming heck at Mark Sharnick what amazing acting it's a right blub fest in our house tonight, mostly the hubby. Seriously well done on highlighting this, hopefully more than a few lives can be saved by recognizing the signs of a stroke hashtag Marlon hashtag Emmerdale. Poor Marlon. This will raise a lot of awareness for strokes and how quick they can happen time is critical now hashtag Emmerdale, wrote another viewer. While another soap fan posted, while wow, that was emotional for me personally to watch I've lost a relative to a stroke in 2016. It's horrible and it can kill in literally seconds, minutes even hours. Not my face I heard Marlon say sure of it. Great acting by at Mark Sharnick hashtag Emmerdale. Another audience member wrote, Mark Charnick actually portraying someone suffering from a stroke really well, remember how scared I was when my nan had one. She recovered but then six weeks later had another massive one and died. Miss you nan hashtag Emmerdale dot feeling a bit emotional watching at Emmerdale tonight. Four years ago my husband had two strokes and our lives changed in an instant. He was young like Marlon and our lives have been changed forever. Such an important storyline. At high TV at Mark Sharnick hashtag Emmerdale hashtag Stroke Association, shared someone else. While another viewer wrote, this is when hashtag Emmerdale is at its best. Important stories with characters you care about. Soaps can and do save lives. Meanwhile, another fan shared, What an emotional at Emmerdale what an episode but such an important storyline. Superb acting at Mark Sharnick hashtag Emmerdale hashtag Marlon hashtag stroke. Another person posted, Om no Marlon that actually made me fill up at Mark Sharnook that brought back so many memories my poor nan wasn't found in time and it was too late for her, time is so important with a stroke hashtag Emmerdale. Mark recently said he found researching the serious and life-threatening medical condition a total eye-opener and sees the plotline as an enormous responsibility. He said, Working with Emmerdale's research team and the Stroke Association on this storyline has been a total eye-opener for me. We hear the word stroke bandied around a great deal, but being confronted with the sheer weight of numbers in this country alone has been a shock. It's an enormous responsibility to try to get it right for the survivors and their families, and for those who've lost loved ones to this awful event. Soap bosses have promised they will explore the long-lasting repercussions it has on Marlon and everyone who loves him. Laura Shaw, a producer said, Marlon is undoubtedly one of Emmerdale's most loved characters. As the story unfolds, we follow the tragic and heartbreaking long-lasting repercussions this has on him and his friends and family.
The Stroke Association have worked closely with the soap and believe that audiences will be able to identify with the impact of the brain attack which is prompted by blood to your brain being cut off. Juliet Bouvery, the charity's chief executive said, many viewers will be able to identify with Marilyn's storyline, including the one. 3 million stroke survivors in the UK. In a video shared online after the episode, Mark spoke out about what to do if someone is suffering a stroke. He said, according to statistics, someone suffers in the UK suffers a stroke every five minutes and it is the nation's fourth biggest cause of death, with an annual total of 35,000. In tonight's episode we saw Marlon have a stroke. Strokes can happen to anyone, at any age, at any time. And they happen every five minutes in the UK. 50% of stroke survivors are dependent on others for their everyday needs. And sadly, one in seven strokes are fatal. Hopefully Terry's some really important information we can take from Marlon's story. The most important of which is the acronym F. A S T and we can use this to identify symptoms of a stroke in you or in someone else. F is for facial weakness. Can the person smile? Is their smile lopsided? Have their eye or their mouth drooped? A is for arm weakness. Can the person raise both their arms? Have they got a weakness down one side? S is for speech problems. Can the person make themselves understood? Are they slurring their words? Can they understand you? And most important of all, T, and that's time to call 999 if you see any or all of those symptoms in a person or in yourself. He continued. It's a really important thing for us to understand that acronym so that we can identify the possibilities that somebody is having a stroke because the quicker that person could be got to hospital and treated, the better chance they have of recovery and survival. Immerdale has worked with some amazing people on this storyline, including the Stroke Association, clinicians and survivors, people who have actually been through it. If you think you or someone you know is having a stroke, act fast as a stroke is a medical emergency, and call 999 Remember F. A S T and check for, F is for facial weakness, A is for arm weakness, S is for speech problems and T is for time to call 999 inches a non-emergency, support is available for anyone affected by a stroke, including family friends and carers via the Stroke Association on 0303-3033-100, helpline at stroke. Org.uk or at www.stroke.org. Ukemmerdale continues on Tuesday on ITV1 at 7.30pm.